You're listening to the Daily Dose of Health and Wellness with Jen Reynolds. Fibro TV, making positive connections in the chronic illness community. My body hurts. The information contained on FiberTV.com is meant for information and entertainment purposes only. Any information via audio, video, or print material should in no way replace any advice or direction given to you from your personal physician or medical caregiver. Please consult your physician for specific treatment options. Well, hello everyone. My name is Jen Reynolds, creator and founder of FibroTV.com. And today we are on episode number six of the Daily Dose of Health and Wellness. And we're going to be talking about serotonin discontinuation syndrome. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the podcast. So a lot of people with chronic pain and chronic illness are routinely prescribed um, antidepressants called SSRIs, and that stands for Selective Serotonin Retake Inhibitors. I almost couldn't get that out. And um, a lot of people don't know that once you go on these medications, after you've been on them for more than a month, there is a type of withdrawal that comes with them. Um, even though they're not addicting because addiction is associated with um, wanting more of the drug and it doesn't do that. You, you don't get high off of it or anything, but you get a, a sort of dependency on the drug and your body gets used to it and you can't come off of it right away. You have to taper yourself off the medication. Uh, the reason I wanted to talk about this is because I was on a medication called Paxil for 11 years and it helped my anxiety and my pain. Well, I thought it did, but who knows? But um, I was on it for 11 years, and when I decided to go off medications, um, that was probably the worst medication ever to come off of. And mind you, I was on a pain patch. I was on Vicodin, Percocet. I was on a lot of addicting medications, and the Paxil was the worst to come off of. Now, I did have a little bit of a withdrawal coming off the narcotics, but it it was just a couple days and it wasn't really bad. But with the Paxil, I had probably a year with the withdrawals and I went off of it super, super slow. And what just blows my mind away is no doctor ever told me about this when I went on the medication or while I was on it. I was never informed that this could happen. So I don't know if other doctors talk about this to their patients or not. So I just wanted people to be aware about it. Um, Antidepressant discontinuation syndrome only occurs in about 20% of patients after they discontinue their medication. If they've been on it for at least six weeks, they're saying. um, Some people say um, 30 days as well. And what happens is you get like flu-like symptoms, insomnia, nausea, imbalance, sensory disturbances, and hyperarousal. And that's the one thing that I had really bad was the hyperarousal. I felt like I was getting zaps in my body. And I also know that I would get this if I didn't take the medication. Like if I forgot to take the medication that day, I'd go to work and I'd get like these little zappy feelings and I just kind of feel disconnected from myself. And for me, I thought, oh my gosh, I need this medication. It's helping me. Uh, If I go off of it, I'm going to go crazy. And that wasn't it. It was actually the medication in me, you know, having withdrawal symptoms from that. So if you are taking an SSRI, and they even say some other antidepressants can cause this, um, make sure you talk to your doctor and get the proper information and wean off of it slowly before you go off of it. I mean, at one point I was having seizures because because of these withdrawal symptoms. It can be very, very dangerous, and I just want people to be very aware of it. So um, have any of you experienced discontinuation syndrome from SSRIs? Have you had an experience to where 
you had some kind of withdrawal or the zappy feelings or the disorientation or that feeling like you're you're out of your body, go ahead and leave a comment right below this post and let's share our stories. And normally this podcast is usually about health and nutrition and wellness, but I really thought it was important to talk about this because I've heard from other people how completely horrible it is to get off these medications. And I don't want people to feel alone or feel like they're going crazy if they miss a dose and they start feeling weird the next day. It's not because you're going crazy, you're having withdrawal symptoms. And don't go off the medication without the doctor and going off of it slowly. My body. Well, that concludes our podcast, our daily dose of health and wellness. It was short and sweet, but I thought it was very important information that people needed to know. So we just put it out there. Um, you could follow us over at Facebook at facebook.com forward slash fibro TV. You can follow us on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash fibro TV and over at YouTube broadcast yourself. It's youtube.com forward slash fibro TV. Oh, and our main website. We're on the World Wide Web, www.fibrotv.com. Have a great night, everybody. Thanks for listening. Until next time. And my stomach hurts. My mommy is sick, but she's the best mommy in the entire world. And I just want her to get better. Fibro TV, making positive connections in the chronic illness community. You can find us over at www.fibrotv.com.